Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today's the day I'm finally going to share my top list of Cydia tweaks, this time 25, compatible with and available for the brand new iOS 9.3.3 combination Pangu PP jailbreak. Now I didn't want to go too crazy in this video with over 25 tweaks because they do take so long to create. So if you like this video and you want to see more videos similar to this one, be sure to drop it a like. I would definitely appreciate it. Now first and foremost, you do need to be jailbroken to install anything I'm about to highlight. So if you have yet to jailbreak and you're on iOS 9.2 to 9.3.3, of course you can. It's very easy. You just have to navigate to this video here. I will have it linked down below in the description. It does take a little bit of effort and it is a little hard than the on-device jailbreak I highlighted recently, but considering the developer enterprise certificates used to distribute it off of the App Store and on your device alone were patched, that's the only way to get it right now. So don't miss out jailbreak if you have yet to, that way you can take advantage of all of the awesome tweaks I'm about to highlight. Now, a vast majority of the tweaks in this list were actually compiled on the jailbreak and hacks forums. So big shout out to the members listed down below in the description. Thanks for helping put some of these tweaks together and the ones more toward the end are some of my favorite tweaks that I personally love and enjoy on my device on a daily basis. Some of them are also paid. We'll talk about paid tweaks though toward the end. Don't worry, all of the ones I'm going to highlight first will be available for free. And before we fully get into this, there is a very important warning I need to mention. Do not just haphazardly install anything inside of Cydia. It could actually jeopardize your device and its jailbreak and force you into a restore. So down below in the description, the very first link will actually be a post on my website and it will contain all compatible Cydia tweaks. Currently, the list is 300 strong and it is updated on a daily basis. Definitely check there before installing anything. I cannot stress how urgently important that is. Do not haphazardly install Cydia tweaks because if they're not compatible, you may be in a world of trouble with your jailbreak. All right, so getting into it, up first we have a tweak called initialized. And what this does is it just tells you whether or not you've actually initialized your jailbreak successfully using the PP Pangu application. And for those of you who are familiar with the jailbreak, you'll already know what that means. It basically just tells you if it was able to patch the kernel successfully and you'll be able to use all of your tweaks once you unlock. Next, we have no slow animations. This is definitely a great one. You'll instantly notice it when I launch up the settings app and then close out of it. And you may have already have noticed it when I launched up Safari and close out of that application. It just allows you to speed up the animations on your device. It is a must have if you don't want to install a paid tweak that offers similar functionality such as spring to mize. Up next, we have Cylinder. It offers so many page transition animations. They look really great, smooth, and fluid, and you can even create your own. You can actually set up formulas of multiple different animations, and it is one of the best tweaks for accomplishing this, not to mention the fact that it's free. That's absolutely amazing in my opinion. Next up, we have Breadcrumb 10. This kind of adds a little bit of iOS 10 functionality to your iOS 9.3.x jailbreak. So let me bring this over really quick. You know how when you're actually inside of one application and you go to another from the notification center, meaning you receive a notification, you pull it down and you navigate away from that app and then you receive a little option to go back to the original app that you were in before you actually clicked on or tapped on that notification. Well, this actually brings the iOS 10 style version of that feature to iOS 9.3.x. So it just looks so much cleaner and you can definitely tell over here in the left hand corner when I have the return to Cydia option right there. And that actually brings us conveniently into our next tweak as well called delete forever. Now this is awesome. I love it. Basically what it does is it allows you to permanently delete pictures instead of having them go to the deleted album and then having to clear those out. And what I've often found is that even after clearing out those items inside of the recently deleted folder, they still stay there. It's so annoying and so frustrating. This takes care of that and it allows you to permanently delete photos. You know how Cydia will randomly redirect you to the App Store even if you don't want it to? It's so frustrating. This fixes that. It's called No App Store Redirect, and of course, just as the name suggests, it prevents those pesky forced App Store redirects. And as you can see from the settings for it, it will actually count how many App Store redirects 
it has actually stopped. Next up, grabber time will allow you to easily get information such as the time as well as your battery percentage inside of a game just by swiping down. It may be a little hard to see, so let's get a close up there. So inside of a game, you know how it is frustrating to kind of grab onto notification center so you can actually see your menu bar. Well, this tweak actually just provides you the time as well as your battery status right up there just with one simple swipe down. And then of course, if you wanted to bring down notification notification center, you just swipe down again as you normally would. 20 second lock screen allows you to extend the amount of time that your device actually stays on the lock screen with the backlight lit before it goes off. So it is fully customizable even beyond the default. So that's really great. And then moving straight into the next one, we have double cut. And this one allows you to set up shortcuts for actually pasting in emails or expanding them into the email field inside of the mail app. So what I mean by that is for the snippet key, you can specify really any key that you want and then for the expand result you want to put in whatever you want that key to actually expand into and you can actually set up custom types as well double tap triple tap or a long press of whatever you put as the snippet key so let me give you a quick example inside of the mail app here let's just open it up and for the at symbol I have double tap to just put in testing at youtube.com of course this is just for the sole purpose of this video just to show you guys exactly what it does and then the next one we have is just double tap on H and that just pastes in how to at youtube.com so pretty cool right it definitely will save you some time especially if you use the mail app and email people frequently power down is a really great one that adds some extra functionality to your power down screen. So when you hold on the power button to get that slide to power off slider right at the top there, you also get some extra ones. You get slide to reboot, slide to respring, and slide to safe mode. That's so epic. I can't even tell you how awesome it is to conveniently and simply enter safe mode, respring, reboot, or just power off all together with inside one interface. Now there are some other tweaks that offer this similar functionality. However, a few of them are actually paid and none of them look as good as this one. On. As you can see when I tap on cancel there, it gives you a really awesome animation, how they all kind of fade out to opposite sides, and it also gives you that cool animation when you actually toggle it on as well just by holding the power button. Auto pause is a cool one that, as the name would suggest, automatically pauses your music when your device reaches the lowest volume setting. So let me give you an example. We're going to play a song, go to the home screen here. I'm gonna bring the volume down and you'll notice that it instantly pauses it and now we have the option to actually play the song. One more time, let's go ahead and bring the volume up a little bit, play it. I'm going to bring the volume down without touching pause play and it instantly pauses that song. Lock Glyph, as I'm sure some of you already know, adds a pretty cool lock screen animation for Touch ID enabled devices. So let's go ahead and get a close up of that there. As you can see right above the power button, we have a pretty cool animation. The device vibrates if it's entered correctly and it gives you a little tone there if it bypasses it successfully. Now we have untethered, hey, Siri, and I spaced that out just because I didn't want Siri to activate on any of your devices, but essentially it adds that untethered, hey, Siri functionality to all devices and not just Apple's latest iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Now, PM really is cool if you like to set alarms and if you're doing it at night like I happen to do, sometimes you'll accidentally leave it at PM instead of setting it to AM. Most people set AM alarms. Let's say I wanted to wake up at like, oh, I don't know, 8.09 AM and I wanted to press save, but I still left PM set and I didn't change it to AM, it prompts you and asks you whether you actually mean to set it to AM or to PM. If you meant to set it to PM, then you'd tap on yes, of course. Otherwise, you'd tap on no and then you'd change it. So it definitely helps out if you're super tired and you're trying to set an alarm and you accidentally set it up as PM instead. Now, tap, tap, flip will allow you to actually flip the camera around when you're inside of the camera app and you just double tap on it like so. iCleaner is a great tweak for clearing up some space on your device. Device. It actually saved me five gigs the other day. That's right, five entire gigs on my device just by cleaning up some of these things that obviously aren't used, such as Safari data, unused application data, OTA software updates that your device may have accumulated, Cydia logs, information related to sources, unused dependencies, which is absolutely key. So if you happen to uninstall a tweak and it installed dependencies or other 
tweaks that it required to actually function when you obtained it in the first place but are no longer in use, this will remove them for you automatically. So it's really great if you love to try tweaks and it happens to install a few things because of course so many tweaks have dependencies and you should definitely get rid of them after you're no longer using the main tweak it was installed for. Just different log files in general, cache files, temporary files, and so on. And by the way, log files and cache files can take up so much space. So after selecting what you actually want to clear out, you just tap on clean and then it will prompt you to respring. I don't want to respring right now, so we're not going to clean it on the fly, but I recommend checking it out. Now Zeppelin, as you may have already noticed by now, allows you to set custom carrier logos. And I do notice that it actually has an issue right now when trying to set a carrier string. So you can't actually set something like ICUID, for instance, right now. There is a slight complication with that. Hopefully it will be fixed soon with an update, but it's so easy, you just enable it and then you can select a theme. By the way, there are additional themes available inside of Cydia. And once you select it, you don't even have to respring. It should just instantly apply it. Now, as I mentioned, because there is a slight issue with this version inside of iOS 9.3.x, it may take a while to apply. You may have to launch up a few applications and possibly even respring, but I promise you that it will be there eventually. As you can see, it did kind of flash that Space Invaders icon there for a second, but it's really great. I love it once it actually sets the correct icon that you've chosen. And speaking of Zeppelin, there's another one that I find pretty cool. And by the way, it also finally applied there permanently. But moving on to the other one that I think is cool, we have Alkaline. So you just enable it and then you have a couple of themes by default. And what it does is it just replaces your old battery icon with a new one of your choosing. So here are the main ones that you have available. There are some that you can actually get third party. And what you do is you just select it, respring, and that's it. So mine, of course, is kind of similar to the carrier strength over on the left hand side. I like it that way. Battery Life is another app style installation from Cydia that basically just gives you additional information on your device's battery. So it tells you your current charge level. It also tells you what the actual capacity of your battery is because of course your battery life does degrade over time as your device goes through more and more charge cycles. So right now, if we were to compare this iPhone 6S Plus against a brand new one, it's 100% would only really be like 87 7.19% of the brand new iPhone 6S Plus. That of course is because the battery on this one has degraded as time has gone on and as it has seen 338 full cycles there. Now the next two actually do relate to battery life. You may not really be able to notice or pick up on them, but the first one is called No Motion and it just disables parallax on the home screen as well as inside of other applications. Believe it or not, that does take up some battery life. And if you fully disable it just through that tweak alone, you can save on battery. And there is a way to kind of reduce it inside of settings. However, I don't like that method because of course it gets rid of the awesome opening and closing animations, which look really great when we speed them up in conjunction with no slow animations. So this will disable parallax while still allowing you to have those regular animations. Next, no live clock kind of also saves on battery. Not much, but it does help a little bit. As the name would suggest, the clock icon no longer spins around. Some people may actually just find it annoying and want to disable it altogether. Next, we're going to get into premium tweaks, and there's an important note that I need to mention. As of recording this video, Sorik, the creator of Cydia, has disabled new purchases. So you'll only be able to install the premium tweaks if you purchase them already. But in the coming days, Sorik will definitely enable purchases through Cydia. So if you don't have the next tweaks installed, this will once again become relevant to you once Sorik enables paid tweaks. So first we have iFile. It's really awesome and I recommend it for basically anyone. It allows you to browse the file system on your device. You have to be extremely careful not to delete core system files though. Otherwise it may force you into a restore. So definitely do not just go haphazardly deleting things. What I love to use it for is actually installing dev files, which basically are like the file extension Cydia tweaks are compiled in and distributed in off of Cydia. So if I happen to get a Cydia tweak from a developer who wants me to test it ahead of time, you can actually navigate to it and then install it inside of iFile. It's pretty cool that way. I'm not going to go over all of its functionality now. You can mess around with it if you get it. And of course we have Virtual Home 8 and 9. This one is definitely my favorite tweak 
bar none. There are no tweaks that compare to it for me. It just allows you to rest your finger on your device's home button with Touch ID enabled, and it will do certain things accordingly. Of course, if you just rest it on it without doing anything else and then release, it will emulate the home button. So you don't have to physically press it. That will actually save your device's home button in the long run. Of course, you do not have to press the home button. This is how I think it should be and how it will be in future iPhone iterations. And when we actually go inside of the settings for it, you can also set up double tap, short hold, and then tap and hold features as well. Now we have Anchor, which is a cool one that basically just allows you to customize the layout of your icons. It's very easy, very seamless, and you do not have to worry about things like blank icons if you wanted to set up something comparable inside of Winterboard. There was actually an awesome tweak a while back, and by a while back, I mean way back in the days of iOS 3 and 4, that basically put blank icons on your springboard and allowed you to accomplish basically the same effect here. But normally, of course, if I didn't have Anchor installed, it would force me into having a solid row of icons. With this, I can just make it a total mess or actually try to make letters or really anything, whatever you want, doesn't matter. You can set it up inside of Anchor. Just install it and move the icons around. And speaking of moving things around, let's swipe on over to the second page here and get into the next tweak, Multi-Icon Mover Plus. What happens with this tweak is that when you enter the edit mode for icons and you tap on icons, it gives you a little check mark in the bottom right hand corner of the icons. All of the icons that you do check off will actually move over to whichever page you're on after you press the home button again. And it doesn't quite work with Anchor if it is inside of a custom layout like this. So let's go ahead and move two of these icons, just the bottom two, Star Wars and then Cydia, over to the second page here. So as you can see, boom, there we go. They're on the second page now, whereas before they were on the first page. And again, it didn't work previously because the icons weren't in proper order and it didn't have a space at the bottom to put them. So you need to maintain that space if you do install Anchor as well. All right, guys, so that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about in today's video, every single tweak I wanted to mention. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and dude, if you love your iOS 9.3.3 untethered jailbreak, again, be sure to drop this video a like. I would definitely appreciate it. And it would also help me know whether you guys want more top tweaks videos like this in the future. Of course, check below for all compatible Cydia tweaks. I don't want to hear about you guys accidentally installing tweaks after watching this video and forcing your device into a restore because I definitely made it clear that you need to ensure that they are compatible first. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos like this or related to jailbreaking, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCracker iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.